Okay, well, welcome to another week of uh, Linux music. This time we're going to do Sequence 24, uh, hook up a synth. Uh, I hope you remember last time we did the drum machine. If you haven't seen that, this won't make much sense uh, before you do. So go check out uh, the first one from last week, and then this is number two, where we do more. Okay, well, let's get started. As you can see, here's Seek 24 again uh, from last week. And here's the three uh, drum uh, patterns I entered last week, and I've, I've pre-entered some more of these uh, for us. If uh, You can kind of see hydrogen and a couple instances of AM synth behind us. So let's, uh, let's get started playing. Whoa, Commander, you say. That doesn't sound anything like last week. You're absolutely right, it doesn't. And the reason is, uh, the one thing you got to keep in mind when you're doing this is that this sequence 24 keeps the patterns, and it knows it wants the hook to hydrogen, but it doesn't keep the drum pattern. So if you look back here in hydrogen, we happen to have a animal's drum pattern that I made for my grandkids, and that's not the one we wanted. We were using this one last week. Now if we try again, let's try that again. That sounds a lot more like last week. So the thing is that I always do is, uh, because you, you might have many of these saved, is if you'll notice, this is H for hydrogen, the drum kit, and then just what it is, the kick drum, the hat, the, the conga. And here's A for AM synth, uh, user patch, user patch 3, AM synth, user, user patch 1. It's important that when you have these things, you edit them, so when the time comes, uh, like there's my bit, uh, when the time comes, you can you can remake the connections as they need to be made. If there's a way to actually save which drum kit uh, I'm using in hydrogen, I I haven't found it yet. And same with AM synth. Uh, also notice, just like here, I've got patch number three. I can have two different patterns on patch number three, no problem at all. But if I want to use a different uh, synth patch, maybe one's bass, one's uh, some type of lead, then I need to bring up another instance of AM synth. Similarly, uh, these all use the same drum kit. If I, for some reason, uh, wanted to use another drum kit, I'd have to bring up another instance of hydrogen uh, and hook to it. So that's an important thing to keep in mind when we do this. Uh, here, let's just take a look at that. And you can see, like we talked last time, I've entered notes on a piano roll. C, B, B flat, A, there's an A. C, B, B flat, A, there's another A. So let's, uh, let's just kind of play through this. Take a look. And hopefully you see that you, you have a slight volume difference, as we discussed before. That's the velocity. Uh, you can see the piano roll in these notes, and I'm playing uh, an A and an A. Uh, let's look at another one. And notice I'm playing different notes. That happens to be an A minor or an A, yeah, an A minor. Uh, so let's try that. So you see how that works. Uh, like we said last time, on when I enter notes uh, for a synth, not for a drum, I don't get different drums in the kit. I get different notes uh, that would play. And this is, like I said, a peak called a piano roll. It's very common in MIDI, uh, and and that's how you'll do that. So let's let's take a brief look at a couple others. Right. 
roll down here. Some kind of squishy bass stuff going on with different notes. There's an A. There's another A. Uh, so let's just let's just take a take a listen to this as they come in. Notice you just hear the one synth. thing I want you to notice is that again two different synthesizer instruments two different uh, instances of AM synth we have to be running here's one and here's the other uh, hydrogen as long as we stay in the drum same drum kit we can put in multiple uh, patterns for a drum kit just like in AM synth we did here uh, in AM synth of uh, number three the sweet bass uh, is what it's called. I have two different, completely different patterns that I'm running on it. I can run them independently because I'm keeping the same instrument. Same with uh, uh, number one, uh, which happens to be uh, synth strings. Let's uh, just hear those by themselves. And so that's that's how that works. Uh, once again, the key here: keep the drum kit or the synth patch in the name of the sequence. It'll save you a lot of trouble in the future. A little bit of organization here will go a long way. Uh, all the things we talked about last time: the backslash key that uh, triggers these, uh, the Yeah, I don't know what I was going to say, but the things we learned last week are still are still going to go here. So stick with it. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. We'll trigger those up. And that's it. Uh, anyway, I love this toy. Uh, this will save the patterns. Make sure you uh, hook to the right drum kits, right synth patches when you get back in. That's it. It's that easy. Uh, enjoy yourself. Okay, that ends this week. I hope you learned something. Uh, as always, here's the versions I'm using. If your stuff doesn't act like my stuff, then check here first. And after that, jump onto these websites, check out what's going on. Uh, very gracious people, very generous people that have put up this software uh, just for you to use absolutely free. And it's fun stuff, it's, it's cool stuff, and I hope that you'll check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you next time, and uh, have a ball.